The year is 1975. Children like tanks and explosions, and so what they wanted for Christmas was Tank Command. It's a board game with some moving parts. And no dice! No dice. No dice at all. It's all strategy, apparently. <laughs> it's a glorified tug-of-war game. Yes. Really. In fact, not even that much glorified, mm. really. But you could tell how much fun the children are having on the front of the box over there, surely. Look at that. Look at his little face. <laughs> he's so excited he's gone blind. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> There's all these, these tank blasts shooting him out. Look, this kid's about to be hit in the eye with another tank blast. He, at least he can still see. The <laughs> full excitement hasn't sunk in yet. He hasn't gone blind like the other one. That is really quite frightening. He is so glassy-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. It's going to be all right, Billy. It's going to be all right. <laughs> oh, oops. No, it's not. There is no. <laughs> Quickly, look at the tagline before it falls off again. Command your own tank force in this strategic battle action game. Okay, then. And here's the tanks. Look, British tanks, German tanks. The German Panzerfoss. Yeah. Jawohl. It is the war of World War II. Yes. That was my German accent. Could you tell? It was. <laughs> Sounded all of Welsh, so never mind. Well, it's from the company Ideal, ages seven and up, two players, and yeah has a lot of tanks going on. It's one of those board games you used to see a lot in uh, jumble sales and things of the 1980s with yeah. all the bits missing. <laughs> it's a bit like a plunk where some sods yeah. chewed in all the sticks. That's it, and the ball's missing. Yeah. yeah. In fact, many parts were still missing from this board game. We've yeah. had to replace them with uh, cotton buds, as you will see later. Yeah. They're supposed to be shell counters. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look at the board game itself. I've just spotted... Oh, on the side here, there's actually pictures of what appears to be Montgomery and Rommel or somebody <laughs> playing the board game. I don't know if you can make that <laughs> I'm not entirely convinced that was a real historical event. I think they used real tanks and real dead men. Well, it's a deleted scene from Patton. <laughs> <laughs> deleted scene from yeah. World War Two. <laughs> Let's hide that away. Wow. That's really weird. But he's gone blind as well in the video in the image as well. <laughs> Basically, this game will blind you. That's what they're trying to tell you. <laughs> Safety instructions. Do not play. Well, we've got a lot of plastic tanks that look suspiciously like those ones you used to get with the little plastic army men. Yes. Um, and they're, the same, they're different models as well, which is quite nice. That's true, actually. Yeah, the German ones and the British ones, presumably based on real designs. Mm. They're not solid, by the way. Look, they are cheap, hollow, yeah. plasticky. But other than that, loveliness, yes. They're beautiful. And we've got our own pill box to hide behind as well. Yes, you can see the graphics on that. It looks like a Dalek looking through a letterbox, but it's supposed <laughs> to be like a big cannon in an armoured pill box. I'll take their word for that. What it does is shields each other's uh, next move from the opponent until a certain time. Because we have ten shells each, each is numbered, each can only be used once around, and you have to try and pick a higher number than the opponent, which causes the tanks to move. Well, you have to move the tanks, it's not so like magic. <laughs> it's a military version of play your cards right. right? <laughs> so oh, there's yeah. no Brucey oh. bonus. <laughs> the Brucey bonus is you get to go home alive. Who did the bin? The man who is a thing! That's genuinely frightening. Did you know Nelson Mandela is dead? Bruce Forsyth is the world's oldest man. Wow. Uh, but you didn't know that. Probably because I just made it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> well then, so we must each pick a number, and then somebody says fire, and we reveal. You actually say fire. Yes. You actually send the instructions, you have to say fire. Yes, so it doesn't say who says it though. Maybe there has to be like a third party. Oh, okay. It says fire. It's like the field marshal. So it's turning into paper, scissors, stone now, so we have to... Yeah, it's, it's basically a slightly more complicated <laughs> version. Of, it's as if you had ten different items rather than um, just paper, rock and scissors. Right. So paper, scissors, stone meet sort of tug-of-war type yeah. gaming. That's probably a fair description. Mm. So, so basically this is a 1970s equivalent of World of Tanks. That's it. It's more like... Except less shit. <laughs> This is alleyway of tanks. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very specified yeah. version. Yeah. If only one of them worked out to go off the side and get round. You have to put your yeah. flanking now. No. That's, that's, that's an extra strategy they haven't mentioned in these tracks. 
This is why World War Two went on so long. Yeah. Uh, I should point out that in the instructions, that about seventy percent of them are how to set up the board game. Yes, and it was really difficult. So there's basically bits of string holding it under it. I don't know if you can see that there, and you have to pull them. And uh, what they call them? What they call them? In oh, the so your lanyard knob. So it's pull your <laughs> lanyard knob, <laughs> which has provided endless amusement for both of us. Um, it does this, or potentially this. The idea is, eventually, if you pick your right numbers, the enemy tanks will go over a landmine and be flipped over, and hilarity ensues. <laughs> Genocide. Probably won't take much on yours, because it's, yeah. it's pushed down. Like well, this is a, a full authentic battlefield now, isn't it? Because it's actually got rays. Ah, uh, yes. The yeah. yeah, crater has been formed. Even though there's a tank there that's been flattened. That's a bit strange. And it's on our side as well. So we're going over, we're actually driving over the corpses of our own men to get to you. War is hell. <laughs> Even string controlled war. <laughs> right then, here we go. Um, for, the, for the first thing, Larry, move your counter, or whatever okay. it's called, uh, indicator. We have had to, imp we've had to improvise and we've actually using Stuart's um, <laughs> supermarket... Uh, yes, thing off my key ring yes. so I don't put a pound into a supermarket trolley. They don't, they don't actually have them in America, these pound dispenser things. So, yeah, It's all oh. thought of a... Uh, What's well, a deposit really? Yeah, thing. yeah you, you have to physically put a pound coin into a trolley before you can take it. Yes, and it sort of encourages you to put it back instead of having to leave it in the middle of the car park. Yeah, or taking it home and uh, using it. I used to, to be a right arsehole for that sometimes. I used to go, I used to really annoy the bloke by putting it back in the thing upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Just. <laughs> That's so evil. There's a special room in hell for you. Yeah. Right? Or you used to throw, push them in as far as you can to make as much noise as possible. Anyhow, yes, the object. Sh I shall put. I shall reveal the thing to show you what it oh, is. That's a good idea. Actually. With our, our special, our alternate pegs. I yes. think the real pegs. Well, the real pegs look like shells. I think. Yes, that's what the, the child looks like on there. He's, yeah, it's got a little licorice baton. Yes, that's one thing. I think it's something that'd be something more along the lines of those battleship sort of pegs, but yeah. they're just. Plastic poles. Whereas we have used the ends of cotton buds, so we can clean our ears afterwards. Well, sure, sure we wouldn't want to wash that in any one kind of out. We've got to can't move this back out. There we are. Okay, you haven't cut yours long enough, have you? So. No, I kept mine too too long. So, um, right then. But wouldn't you see my hand going up and down with the slider? That is a bit of a worry, actually. Because I could see your hand perfectly. I mean, we have to. We're just going to have to agree to look the other way. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a gentleman's how, agreement. How can I not look what I'm doing without glancing you in the background? I, so I can we do got, it. There we are, like that. So we got to take. <laughs> basically, you you go you go first, and I go first. Yes, I think that's what we're going to have to do. Right, I'll, I'll go first and pick my okay. number. Ooh, manoeuvres. Yes, we are going to be excited there and pushed about all over the place. So excellent. Excellent. Right. So, okay, you go first. Tell me when you're done. I've actually done. Okay, and done. Right. We have to say fire. Fire. Oh, so exciting. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> We've both gone for six. What does that demonstrate? We so both we're going exactly the same. You were trying to psychologically outmaneuver me, but the, the most likely number that you go for at the beginning is a five because you'd win fifty percent of the time. Yeah, that was basically the thing. Uh, so you, it. yeah. <laughs> so, so we both have to take out I was actually, I was going to go for five actually, but then I thought, well, there you go, planning out to psychology. Got to play the percentages, it's all we have. <laughs> yeah, for um, the type of war game, it turned into a psychological sort of checkers, chess. The problem here is, um, well, now it's a draw, nobody moves and so nothing happens. So the first no, okay. go was a complete bust. So yeah, there you go. Well, the thing is, we both know we don't have a six anymore. Yeah. So, uh, who goes for John? Okay, you go first again. Okay. Okay. Done. Done. Okay. You got to say ready? fire. Oh, sorry. Fire. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the game of draws. So, yes, you're still trying to psychologically out of a new. I should have gone for eight, shouldn't I? I should have gone for eight. Yeah, I should have gone for eight. Well, obviously. <laughs> but then we both have yeah. gone for eight. <laughs> no, it's like, can we rewind this? Is there any chance? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. 
<laughs> so there you go, it's an exciting video, yeah, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? It's a called... game where nothing happens. It, Stalemate. It's, it's, like, it's more World War One yeah. than World War Two. Just sit in the trench and we're slowly we're starve. Well, it's close to Christmas. Shall we start playing football in a minute? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be over by Christmas. <laughs> it never bloody was. Yeah. Right, close your eyes. I'm going again. Okay. You, are you going to go for eight? No. Okay. Or am I? Right, done. Okay. 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 Fire. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Finally, we differ. <laughs> well, I thought you were going to go for eight, and then uh, are you done that on purpose? You should. You done that on purpose, or did you? What? Let me. <laughs> I've psyched you out already. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's just in my head. It's in my head. He <laughs> <laughs> could see in my innermost thought. So I gotta move forward. Well, Thirteen. You add both the numbers together. Thirteen, and okay. you get to move your tanks. Thirteen forward. Okay, and there's a li there's a little sort of um. Yeah, scale of doom. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we're oh. dangerously close to a landmine already. Okay, shall I pull my lanyard knob just to see? You can. Oh! oh. oh God, back there we are. I mean, it's a bit warped, isn't it? Because it is. Uh, how old is it? 1975. It's. This is 2013, by the way, if you're watching this in the future. Yeah, on your holographic yes. space television. <laughs> yeah. um, you two's beaming into your brain. <laughs> <laughs> burning your synapses due to content ID matches. Yeah. <laughs> right. Don't use ad block, it'll give you brain cancer. <laughs> we need to spread that. That's the only way we'll be able to eat next year. Right, close your eyes. Okay. Done. I like the way we've got covers that don't cover enough. That's yeah. just brilliant. Fire! Well, they weren't expecting men in their 30s. Oh, I don't they? bloody believe it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was five for both of us then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloody wars, right. There we go. Okay. Right. Are you ready? Done. Okay, I know you went for a high number because I heard the sliding noise. Yeah, you heard a sliding noise. Okay. It wasn't the sliding noise I was falsely putting in, or the real one. Go for it. That is a problem, actually, the sliding noise of the game in general. So you have to move it backwards and forwards a lot. Yeah. At least my peg, I could just lift, pick it up and down. That's true, eh? yeah, if you have an advantage. Eh? Okay. Okay. Fire. Oh. Hey. Look at Did that. you know I lost my nine then? Yes, of course, because you showed you took it early, didn't you? I yes. Mean, we both so you did. Fired. So yeah. it, is, it is sort of let member. There was a bit of a sort of strategy going on there. A strategy. little bearings. Yeah, okay. Right. I get to move forward. I was eight and you're nine. nine. That makes seventeen. Seventeen. One, two, three. Eight. 13, 17, that's correct isn't it, yeah, Ooh. nowhere near the bloody landmines yeah. though. Do you want to try just in case, just to give me oh, a yes. warning shot? <laughs> just to... um, any excuse to pull my <laughs> lanyard knob? There we are, the uh, oh, well, it's got, it's got stuck. floor violators. <laughs> we got, we're getting a bit excited again, we've pushed out the... Oh. There we go. Yeah. It actually says in the instructions when you pull the, the lanyard knob, you've got to hold on to it to make sure it doesn't move. <laughs> so even they know how flimsy it's it is. Just a, it's such a violent explosion, it it could rip the fabric of the cardboard in half. <laughs> yeah, by the way, this is actually cardboard as well. Actually, actually, it's quite hard, isn't it? It's very thin cardboard. Yeah. Right. Excellent. Next round. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to go first. I'm pretty, okay, sorry. Cover your lugs. Okay. I'm going to pick mine up and uh, move it, actually. Okay. Okay. I'm done. I feel like that bloke from Pan's Labyrinth. <laughs> well, I did see you noshing on a fairy earlier. So. <laughs> That's not the sort of room I want to <laughs> Slightly ambivalent phrasing there. Reveal your pillbox. Fire. 
Oh, oh no! But Larry's know, I've, done the ten. I've done the ten, so I'm pretty screwed because you know I've lost all my big guns now. So yeah. So you lie me, but I've lost my eight, and you get to move eighteen, 18. towards me. Okay. Remember, that's eighteen and not the eighteen. Five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Ooh. Ooh, oh, dangerously close. Oh. That's cheating, you move the thing. Okay. You, okay, put it back now. Hold it down. Hold it down. For the violent explosion. Oh. Does that, that count? I think that counts. Yes. <gasps> Billy the tank. I've sunk gone. your battle tank. <laughs> you, you've ascended my battle tank. Oh, that's a shame. But the only way is up, as Yaz said are with you, the plus, plastic are you population. Yeah, you leave them on thing, a bit like... Um, Da, da, da. Oh, Salute okay. it. <laughs> there we are. It'd be like a graveyard in the background, like in cannon fodder, where you have to. <laughs> <laughs> that guy could be Stu. If Jules dies, I'm starting <laughs> the level again. Yeah. Right. Uh, close your eyes. Okay. Nobody will know what. Remember, anyone remember what <coughs> fodder? Yeah. Maybe. It did get a Super Nintendo release. So. He got a re release from Steam uh, last year, a 3D remake. Oh. Nobody liked it, apparently, it's really crap. I had no idea there was a 3D remake. Okay, ready? Okay. War, never been so much fun. Don't sing anymore in case there's a content right Oh, yeah. Right. You done? You, yeah. In that case. We wanted that for that um, fighting game, didn't we? We wanted to use that war so much fun. Oh, yeah. We dare it in the end. You never know who owns the rights. Deadliest warrior. Yeah. You should watch that, by the way. You should. Let's yes. do an annotation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to see medieval warfare as opposed to recent warfare. Yeah, well, vaguely recent, remarkably stalemate warfare. Right, fire. Oh, both got two. Well, nothing moves again. <laughs> the world's most static war. Uh, the, the object, by, by the way, don't worry, isn't, isn't going to end in a draw like this because... Not only I'm in the lead already because I got more tanks than him. So yeah. there, there is a second round. And there is. And I don't know why I'm looking at the camera. You can't see me. Yes. Uh, hello. It just means the volume level will go up and down. <laughs> <laughs> right. I shall pick. Okay. Uh, done. Your turn. Okay. Done. Excellent. Fire. Ah. Oh. That's a shame, so I've effectively wasted my 10 to a yes, certain extent. Yes, that can't be the worst. Yeah, it's the worst outcome for a 10. But then right. again, if, I, if you got a like 5 and a 4, you'd be a 9, so what is it? Yep. Excellent. You're still nowhere near your landmines. I'm very disappointed by this. Oh, the lanyard near the landmines. Well, that's the lanyard near the <laughs> landmines. That sounds like a some sort of awful medieval literature novel. Right. <laughs> Here we go again. Okay. Your turn. Okay. And release a boo. Oh! <laughs> well, we've both got three. We've got three, but Another then again, three. you've got a f I've got a four, four and you've got one. one. So, yeah, we're both. So, I go four and five. Happen. Exactly. Which is. Now, we've got a second go. round. Do we reset back to. No, we do not. Because that would be a very boring game if we did reset, if you think about it. So you are drastically in the lead as we move into round two. Quickly, quickly okay, the ready money round. <laughs> it's fast and furious in the ready money round. Say what you see. Ooh. <laughs> Irish git. Yes. The old catchphrase joke. Parmigian Thunderflap. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Parmigian Thunderflap. That's that, that criddle fit here. Oh yes! Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> he is a genius. <laughs> right! Do, 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 do. Nobody's going to get our reference. Yeah. Right. So he was. That, that's what another video we wanted to do, wasn't it? We wanted to do 80s video games that are based on TV game shows. We should we do, do that. So we should find some way we can do that over the net. And have a think on that. Okay. Yes.
But there you go, that's, uh, that's a, a preview of stuff to come anyhow, which will come in about 2017. <laughs> <laughs> Providing neither of us have died of old age. <laughs> or been banned from YouTube. Yes. <laughs> Both of which means YouTube still exists. It's in the internet still exists. Right, round two. Ding a ling a ling. I have already placed my. Oh, okay. Oh, I did it surreptitiously. Oh, hang on. Well, I don't know why I'm looking away because I can't change mine now. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fire! Oh! Ooh. Seven and four makes Eleven. 112. Damn. I was having to cheat though. Eleven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Things have moved slightly in my favour. But only slightly. Well, you're over the black line, really. You're over. <laughs> you've ah. you you've invaded no man's land. So. That's where I left all my yogurt. Excellent. Let's go. Have you done yours? No, I probably should. Hang you on. should do. Actually, I won't look at you. Well, I actually am covering my eyes, so. Yep. He's a good non-cheating man. There's no point in me covering my eyes for yours because I've done mine now. So. Well, you accused me of cheating on a donkey mm. video, didn't you? So that's because that's... you cheated. I don't, I don't think I did. It was so long ago, I can't remember. I, remember. <laughs> I remember it was, a, it was a draw in the end, wasn't it? Because we got the same score. Yes. In the turbo video, you come third out of two. two. Yeah. <laughs> I was beaten by the ambulance. That was humiliating. And you, that bloody ice field. And I think you legitimately won Pac-Man. Yes. You completely slaughtered. I think I did. Me in that one. Right then, say yeah. the magic word. Fire! Ooh. Oh no! Ooh, Hip to the post. Eleven. Blimey. Eleven. Bloody hell. Damn you tanks, you need better engines. I do something. think the ball game is a bit too long, really. I mean physically? Or um Well <laughs> yeah, I mean I mean the numbers aren't high enough yeah. to go up for the length of what it is. I mean either they need to space this space this out more. I see what you're getting at, yeah, because there is a lot of movement but nowhere near the bloody landmines. Yeah, I mean not only is there stalemates a lot, there is also That didn't help really, the fact that we had almost constant stalemates. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're not trying to sunk me out anymore now, are you? Or maybe I am. <laughs> maybe there is no other strategy. Boy, right. Know what you psychologists are like. You soon be tying with me to train tracks and stuff. <laughs> no, that's psychiatrist. Oh, okay. Right, your turn. Okay. Reveal. No, sorry. Fire. That's the most exciting Commence thing. Commence battling to... technique. <laughs> Cause cannons to shoot. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, three and eight. Eleven and again. Eleven for you. Oh, blimey. I'm getting dangerously back here now. I've got to stand up now. It's hard to... One, two, three. Oh, <gasps> God. Oh. Do I risk it? Go on. It must be done. Embrace the battlefield. Phew. Oh. Right. oh, that's just on the margin there. Oh, uh, we would have lost one of the caterpillar tracks with that. He lives to fight another. He'll really... be spinning around in circles and that wounded. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> medic! Medic! Right then. In Battlefield 4, somebody will run up to some C4 and blow you up by now. But... There's nothing like going <laughs> Before on. you've been kicked out to the dashboard. <laughs> <laughs> and then the game uh, corrupts and then the dashboard gets slower and slower. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um... Cover your eyes. I'm gonna do Here a I'll war. Go. War me. Uh, away we go. Okay. I need to not lose this one or I shall yeah. lose a tank. Say the magic word. Fire! Hey! Ooh. 16. Now we're talking. At least that's evened up a little bit. But then I had Five, two eleven, that. Ten, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, still not even back at the midpoint. I don't think you've ever got anywhere near this, have you? No. You could com you're constantly making me run over my own flattened tank, so That's the, that's my real target. <laughs> <laughs> it's personal. I've got a vendetta against it. Right. Can send that poor sod home in a soup tin or something, <laughs> that'd be so liquefied. 
Uh, that's an unpleasant thought. <laughs> One of them squeezing it little ice tubes. Oh god. <laughs> ice lollipop. Like a froob. Yeah. <laughs> You don't need an urn, you need a bag. Yeah, oh dear. It's alright, it'll be fine. Right. I'll tell you for one thing, it won't be open casket. Right. Here we go again. Okay. Tell me when. I shall. When? I've noticed there's a ridge. Oh, actually, there's a there's a bit of uh, the... Uh, there's a plug here. There you oh. go. A bit of the uh, <laughs> it's a bit of snipped off cotton bud. Yes. Yeah. And now I've reviewed what number I was going to use. I have to use a different one. That's a fair point. I wasn't actually watching. But oh, okay. There you go. The difference. Well, you I can't you? change what I'm doing anyway. Did so. you watch me? It doesn't oh, matter. Oh yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. You were first. Didn't you? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Go. Good. Fire. Oh yeah, that's it. Ooh, six and two. Ooh. Eight. Do I get to go above the midpoint? You points? advance eight. I've just realised something. What's that? Really, you should pick first in the second round. I've picked first both times, haven't I? I don't think it's really relevant, really, is it? No, I mean, it isn't particularly, actually. No, it is completely random, actually. Right. What's that? Six and two is eight. Wow, this is educational. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, five back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody thing. Oh, well, you've, uh, you've made me retreat over the Rhine, anyhow, so... There we are. The Rhine looks more like a puddle of piss coming out of a latrine. <laughs> well, that's, that's the remains of the bloat in the tank. So yeah. it's just, <laughs> oh, it's, it's, there's nothing, no blood left in it. It's just... Uh, right, then. Cover thou eyes. Okay. For dos I move. Okay. Go for it. Say the word. Fire! Ah! Ooh, I'm nine. pipped by one. Well, it's not very. There has been a pipping. Ooh. Are you? Were you on the red line? Uh, yes. Okay. So uh, there. Oh, yeah, that was easy. Shall I pull my uh, la lanyard knob just to see if I can Let's see if you still can? See if it still works? Yes. Marvelous. Any point in me pulling mine? I right. think it would have been better actually if there was they were randomly placed as well. Yeah, a bit like a sort of foosball type thing. That would be more fun, wouldn't it? Mm. There's you a different only, sterility you, to this game. Or actually, where it's random and you can only pull it once per game or something. Ah, so you're never quite sure. But unfortunately, that's not the rules. So no. uh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so yeah, there's no point complaining to the manufacturer of a 38 year old. <laughs> Game. Sure. If anyone is still alive yeah. who made this game, I wish to register a complaint. <laughs> right, cover your eyes. Um, I think Ideal got bought out by Play School in the oh. mid 80s. I, mean. I did not know that. They had a, a shuffleboard game, do you remember that shuffleboard game? The little metal marble. Oh, that looks really cool. And the yellow thing and the rubber yeah. bands on the end, it goes boing boing boing. Like pinball but dull. Yes. Yeah. Bagatelle. But That's no, it was it. a shuffleboard, wasn't it? Shuffleboard. Mm. And that was it. And they also had an airplane yeah. carrier thing, didn't they? That you could. Oh. It's a metal thing, you pull, you pull the thing and it goes. And just went back. That was pretty nifty, if I remember. God, I want to play with those now. Basically, I want to play with anything except <laughs> this game, because it isn't bloody going anywhere. Right. <laughs> what a graphic move. Good. <laughs> yeah, it's very realistic. Yeah. The 3D is a Oh, yeah. Fully rendered tanks. Yeah. Oh, ironically, better than water tanks. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and so we've yeah. done World of Tanks and World of Planes. What's next? I reckon World of Ice Cream Vans. Uh, well, they've got the rip-offs now. War Thunder is a war. Mm. World of Planes. <laughs> world of Concentration Camps. So, oh, God. Like a world of... Um... <laughs> world of Trenchfoot. <laughs> <laughs> my, um, my friend Ed is actually... He's been in the Territorial Army. And he's actually the first person to get Trenchfoot since the First World War. That's not really the sort of thing <laughs> you'd want to be famous for. Yeah. They can't. They can't even imagine how he managed to get it as well. Because it's like so strenuous on sort of hygiene now in the, in the army. They can't. They don't know how he got it. Bloody hell! For extreme bad luck or being very disposed to it, I suppose. Bless him. Anyhow, I have chosen, I believe, 
several minutes ago, but I haven't... <laughs> several years ago. Yes. Larry several... chose a number. Right, say the word. Fire! Oh, oh you've used your low one up. Yeah. So basically, the, the number one is more of a, the pawn of the... It is, except it can't be promoted. It will always be a pawn. Mm. There's an image for you. Mm. Right then, move your four. Four. Uh, one, two... Okay, that doesn't absolutely nothing. No, that's uh, not particularly it's exciting. Important. It's not very exciting that you haven't sort of blown... We've only ever blown one tank and up yeah, in this that, game. Yeah, that didn't even fly off that dramatically. No, that was, it? that was pretty sort of on the edge of what mm. could have. Less than exciting. Well, I've got to knock one of yours off at least, or I'm going to lose at the end of this round. Mm. Right. Pick again, squires. Okay, you ready? Uh, I am indeed. Okay. Fire. Oh no! He's gone for the nine. Ah, oh, eight, nine. Oh, that's a badness. So, what number is that, ladies and gentlemen? Eight plus nine is 73. <laughs> Oh, bloody hell. 17. Yeah. 17 for you. This is not looking good. Okay, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm rubbing it in for you. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. No, 17. Se oh, 16, <laughs> 17. Here we are. Oh dear. Well, I've definitely lost at least one. Okay, embrace the battle, build. Yeah. Pull the trace the back. Oh no! You've got oh, one tank left. Oh. I, I don't think it's possible for me to win now, is it? I need what? to surrender while I can still um, <laughs> yeah, well, you can negotiate join. good terms. You can become the Italian. <laughs> you you got a long chance to join me, or else I've got to hang your dictator. From a sign outside a garage, yeah. If it was Italian, the tanks would be facing the other way. No! <laughs> World War II racist humour. Yes. Right. Well. Or xenophobic, really. Mm. You ready? Yes. Well, I've only got one. Oh, I've got. I haven't got. I've got a couple left, yeah. Okay. Okay. Look away. Oh, okay. Well, you've well actually, it doesn't matter, does it? Doesn't matter. No. Well, oh, bloody dear. There we are. You'll go. Oh, ten and two. 12 to you. That is going to be enough to sink the last tank. Yeah, it's right back. Okay, well, I, I'm on the edge of the battlefield. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah. the numbers have run out now. So uh, embrace the battlefield for your <laughs> final explosion. Boom! Oh, <laughs> I almost pulled my lanyard knob off. It looks like the same thing you have on the uh, light switch yeah. in the bathroom, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Well, that was um, humiliating. For yeah, you. I should have used the 10 then. Well, it didn't matter by that stage. But look at that. Your entire fleet. No, fleet isn't right. That's like ships. What would it be? A battalion? Division. Division. Your division. entire division of tanks <sighs> is totally unscathed, apart from that dead one earlier. God knows yeah, what he's which doing. Which completely, repeatedly made me run over. Yeah, that was the plan. And all mine are dead. dead, 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 dead. Oh. Well, what have we learned about war from this game, Larry? <laughs> it could be so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned that apparently <laughs> tank shells do absolutely nothing and you just have to get enemy tanks to reverse over landmines. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how the war was won. I can see why um, nobody else bought this game from Ideal when they went bust. Mm. I mean, they even had Mr. Frosty bought from them. I mean, yeah, I mean, if somebody will take Mr. Frosty, but not this, what does that say? I'm quite disappointed that it is not as strategically sort of advanced as I thought it was going to be. No, it's I, just... Because I, no, I had this, my, I had older brothers had this as a kid. I never played it properly. I just used to play with the tanks. I'm tempted to do that now. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose you could play sort of a sort of... Sort of a bit of a Warhammer type thing where you can measure with a ruler or something. I suppose so. dice and that. But again, the fact they're in a corridor doesn't really help that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to push the way back just to see some of your okay, tanks. Okay, well, you can, you can destroy my tanks. I've won the war now, so. There we are. They can be decommissioned. Yes. Actually, we're going to sell them to the Argentinians. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> you didn't embrace the battlefield. Sorry. Uh, that's it. You didn't. Re oh, we'll, do, we'll do that properly. Just pretend that didn't happen, ladies and gentlemen. Just give him some sort of human. <laughs> Wouldn't look like a bun something. Ready? Mine's rubbish. I'm so glad that I won because it'll be. <laughs> 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 that's far less because I might have flipped over sideways. It was just kind of went sitting there like, like a thing. Day is like yes. <sighs> So there you go, that is Tank Command, ladies and gentlemen. If you like your own copy, you're an idiot. And also, it hasn't been sold for 30 years, and so good luck scouring eBay. Ah. Oh well, I lost. I don't like this game. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>